Steve Gubber, you're back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing pretty well, Jaren. Doing pretty well. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine. Um, another week, another, 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 another list chaos. of teams falling victim to team chaos. Yeah, we got some Mario men falling. We got some Mario right, men down. Let's not waste any time. Let's go right We're suppo- into This is supposed it. to be like a 30 minute episode and we've hit an hour, I think, on the last two or close to it. So, yeah, yeah let's let's not waste time. Let's just go. Yep. All right. Clemson. Biggest surprise here. Clemson beating Notre Dame 31 to 23. Big surprise in this one. I thought I thought Notre Dame should have handled Clemson, especially with uh, Clemson's running back out for this game. And not the case. Not the case here. This is Notre Dame's third loss of the year. Yeah, not not super helpful for Ohio State. It was yeah. a trap Speaking game for of, Notre Dame. Uh, well, I mean, it's still Clemson. Yeah. And like, say what Speaking you want to say about Clemson. They still have talent. Mm-hmm. So if they weren't Speaking up of, for Clemson, that's on them. Speaking of third losses, USC. Yeah. Losing to Penix and team. 52 to 42 in a, in a good old Pac-12 shootout. Yeah. The Trojans uh, failed all forms of protection against Penix. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Uh, yeah. The by the way, Kyle. Um, all night long. Exactly. Uh, the it has finally happened. It has finally happened. the 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 question we have been asking is now void. We kept asking ourselves. How the hell does Alex Grinch still have a job? And he doesn't. Well, (laughs) feels long overdue. And Lincoln Riley, like, loudly and publicly defended Alex Grinch just a few weeks ago. Basically blaming everyone else for even asking the question. Um, so. Yeah. Long, long overdue. That should have been. That should have been. Why did he back take in Janu- Back no. in January. No, Kyle. No. Why did he bring him from Oklahoma? That, that too. <laughs> that like, too. I get maybe not firing a guy because maybe you like him or maybe yeah, yeah. But like, why bring him? You didn't have to bring him. Ole Miss escapes. Over Texas A and M. Texas A and M. Oh, this is a good. This is a good one from Tim Shoemaker. Michigan's punishment, Jared, shouldn't be. Yeah. Shouldn't be. Should not be Harbaugh suspension. Shouldn't be them not having having them a have a uh, no post season. Their punishment should be to hire uh, Ferentz as their offensive coordinator, and then Alex Grinch as their defensive coordinator. That Jesus immediately, Christ. that should be their Jesus punishment. Jesus Christ. That's, <laughs> you just, just death penalty them at that point. <laughs> just give them the SMU at that point. My God. All right. Uh, moving on. Ole Miss uh, defeats A&M 38 to 35. A&M continuing to win games here. Uh, Ole Miss continuing to win games. Yes. Uh, Ole Miss continuing to win games. Yeah. Texas A&M continuing to almost upset big teams. Yes, almost. Uh, Texas A&M legitimately probably the best five and four team in the country, which not, not a high bar, but they, but they, they always seem to be like right there against pretty good teams. Yeah. Texas beats uh, Kansas state 33 to 30 in overtime. And yeah, Close game, this, good this game. Could, well, if it wasn't for that botch uh, extra point, it, well, it w- this game this game would have been over. Well, I mean, you, yes and no. You, you never know. You never know. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 things things happen. Things change. Yeah. Utah Utah uh, defeat just handles uh, ASU Tulsa yeah. escapes. Um, the Pirates of ECU, 13 to 10. Air Force 
Air Force with their first Air loss Force to down. Army. Air Force down. Yeah, uh, th- this is, you know, we had a group of uh, three teams who were still undefeated, who were not, you know, Power 5 teams. This is uh, one of them going down. Uh, mm-hmm. So uh, we still have James Madison. We still have Liberty undefeated at this point. Although it should be pointed out, Kyle, that James Madison um, – not postseason eligible. So, yeah. Liberty, Liberty just kind of... Well, because James Madison just came up, and the NCAA has a really stupid rule that you, you can't participate for two years in the postseason after changing divisions. Or, well, not not divisions, because they're all Division One, but sub changing subdivisions. Um. Now, I 100% understand that rule if you're going down a division or subdivision. That makes sense, right? But if you're going up a division or subdivision, why do you have to sit out for two years of postseason play? And apparently James Madison uh, pursued some sort of exception or waiver and was denied because the NCAA sucks. And we all hate it. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, Louisville uh, defeats Virginia Tech 34 to 3. Yeah. Georgia defeats Missouri 30 to 21. Big win for Georgia. And, yep. you know, it was a close game. I mean, Georgia does, to their credit, win by. Um, more than, you know, by, by two scores. Um, but it was a close game for Mizzou. Mizzou played really well. A lot of respect for Mizzou, especially, and I just, no, I mean, just a lot of respect for Mizzou. I think they have a good quarterback. I think they have a great quarter wide receivers. Defense absolutely hold their own. Um, one of the important takeaways from this, I'll say, is that George is beatable. And in fact, literally everyone in college football is beatable. Um, and, you know, I think we'll, we'll have a discussion about, you know, we had Georgia in our, we had Georgia fourth in our top four last week. We'll see if they can sneak up once we get to that point in the show. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Penn State just destroys Maryland 51 to 15. What is going on with Maryland? I thought they were supposed to be the best five and four team. I thought Maryland, Maryland tried to hang for a little bit. Um, Maryland tried to hang. It fell apart. Um, but you know, it's it's good for Ohio State that Penn State remain a dominant appearing football team. So, um, that's fair. All right, Florida um, State. Florida Sta- don't let that final score fool you. Especially since Pitt is terrible. Like, just just to be known. In case anyone uh, is confused by the fact that Pitt was good for a couple years there. Pitt is a 2-7 and seven football team. Uh, who just got completely run off the... F- I mean, embarrassed by Notre Dame last week. Held their yeah. own against Florida State for a while in this game. For a while in this game. So... What, what was it? I'm looking here. It was... Yeah, halftime. Yeah, halftime. It was ten to seven, ten yeah. to seven, and then, and then Florida State got two late touchdowns in the third quarter to make it twenty four to seven game. Yeah, uh, Florida yeah, State. Not, not, Florida State's had some stinker games this year. Um, Georgia's had stinker games this year. Washington's had some stinker games this year. Um, nobody's great. Everyone bleeds. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Another another team chaos here. The Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys. Oklahoma State. One Called last one. time. One last time defeats Oklahoma twenty seven to twenty four. I called this one for the record. I absolutely called this one. Ollie Gordon, um, completely turned this team around. Uh, Ollie Gordon turned this team around. Running back for Oklahoma State. Um. 
much like uh, Noah Fafita, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, at Arizona, totally turned around Arizona. Ollie Gordon totally turned around Oklahoma State. Kyle, you mocked me. I said Oklahoma State was going to win this game during the slew picks, and you were like, oh, Jared, the same team that lost to was is it South Alabama? Who'd they lose to? Some embarrassing game. Yeah, it was South Alabama. Yeah. Yeah, and you, and you mocked me for suggesting that I Oklahoma did. State was gonna was gonna I did. was gonna beat Oklahoma. I did, and kudos kudos to Oklahoma State. I'll give them credit there. Well, just 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 Oregon State or, or Oklahoma State. Just Oregon State. Just just Oklahoma State. <laughs> just Oklahoma. Yeah. Just Oklahoma State. <laughs> that that those are the only kudos you're hanging you're you're handing out right now. I am for right now. Okay. <laughs> Oregon defeats yeah. Cal 63 to 63 to 19. Oregon still one of the best teams in the country. Uh, Kansas escapes a win against Iowa State 28 to 21. Uh, Michigan does what they need to do against Purdue 41 to 13. Now interesting thing about that game. Yeah. I love this stat. Please continue. It's the first time Oh, when when was it? Hold on, I gotta I gotta find. I think it's the the first time in the last two seasons. Here, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Yep, first time in the last two years, Michigan did not cover a Big Ten spread. Is this a coincidence? Huh. Coincidence? Now, I mean, to be fair, it was a thirty-one point spread. Like that's a that's it a was tall a big, ask. That, that was, that was ask. yeah, yeah, yeah. But Purdue Purdue did get that late touchdown too. To squeak that uh, that cover there, and it was at home too. Yeah, that's true. Uh, let's see, Oregon State uh, defeats Colorado twenty six to nineteen. Now the biggest question here, and I don't care, Jared, but will Colorado actually be bowl no. eligible this year? If you didn't care, and if you can't tell by the look on my face, I don't care. Why'd you ask? Hey. The Wildcats here, Jared, we've been saying this for weeks. We've been saying this for weeks in Arizona. Yeah. Arizona takes down another here. UCLA 27 to 10. We've been saying it for weeks here. Yeah. Noah Fafita, man. I hope I'm saying his, his name correctly, but uh, he's totally, yeah. totally turned around Arizona. It's here, by the way, if. If the Heisman Trophy were a just award, this dude has single-handedly turned around an entire program. Just saying. It's relatively easy to be great when you're on a team of... This is what I always say about the Oscars. How come the people who win like best actor or best actress are always uh, from a good movie. The best actor always wins f for being a good actor in a good movie. You know what I'm impressed by? I'm impressed. You ever watch like a bad action movie but the bad guy is like a Shakespearean English actor and he's killing it. Wouldn't that make the that movie good then? No, it's still a bad movie. It's still poorly written. The other actors suck. But this one guy is carrying the movie. That guy should win an Oscar. Because despite everything going to shit around him, he is still great. Despite uh, he should, he should the script if the, if being bad a... and the director being bad and all the other actors being bad, mm. this guy is still great. If, That's the guy who's a... the best actor of the year. So yeah, I'm saying... If there was saying, a freshman of the year, that's what, that's what Noah should have here is freshman of the year. So what I'm saying is, why is the most valuable player... Okay, most valuable I get. But, but shouldn't the best player be playing great despite the talent around him as opposed to always giving it to 
someone who has amazing a talent amazing talent around them food for thought all right in the last game here alabama yep. defeats lsu 42 to 28 yeah, this was back and forth very even for a long time um lsu quarterback gets hurt uh, I mean, they were already down two touchdowns at that point, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to put it all on that. Um, I, 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 I think they lose regardless. I think Alabama wins, whether whether or not the quarterback for LSU gets but, hurt or not. But, but mean, when, once but he I got mean, hurt, it was over, over. Um, yeah, I mean, a couple, couple of things about this. Like one, LSU was without, I think. Two of their starting corners, they were out with a lot of people, a lot of starters on the defense it here. Does, I, being out your corners doesn't matter when this game was just two quarterbacks but, running the entire game. Yeah, that, that, and that's that was going to that was going to be my other thing here was, he, you know, he's going to run there. Right? <laughs> he ran the ball twenty times in this game. How many quarterback ball, rushes? Twenty times grand total of quarterback rushes in this game kyle 31 31 quarterback runs in this game now that's 31 for for thrown off by sack 300 for 300 yeah and 18 yards and five touchdowns yeah (laughs) yeah and even then like LSU and LSU was still throwing the ball well I think at one point they were averaging like 20 yards per reception or something stupid like that um I don't know if that yeah, carried both, through both the Daniel, rest of the game both Daniels and Milrow um passed the ball for 219 yards each yeah a psychotic football game there wasn't a lot of defense being played although considering nope. I was watching that at the same time I was watching uh, Washington and USC, it felt like a defensive struggle. Yeah. Speaking of which, Wrigley Field, you know what? Let's not talk about that. Kyle, let's 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 get to the let's get to the tier list. All right, the official Buckeye tier list. Kyle, where do you want to start? We don't have oh, any losses th- that occur. I, th- I thought you wanted to talk about. I thought. I thought you wanted to talk about the Iowa Northwestern game. Nope. But, well, I, I I teased okay. it like I was going to talk about it, but <laughs> good Lord, let's not. All right. Uh, Ohio State remains number one. I still think resume, their resume is still good. Even with their, even with the Notre Dame loss. Yeah. It, it's still, it's still, it's still a really good win there. The, the Penn State victory looks even better now. But Georgia has it, that. Georgia it looks about the same. Georgia has their finally has their their key win here. Has their resume um, building win. Yeah. And and with how Florida State struggled, and yeah, Washington Washington beat USC, but their 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 defense their defense didn't. They they fell up forty two points. That, that that's just a lot of points. That Washington. It, it, yes, it is U- it was USC, USC, but it's it's a lot USC of points. USC does have a really good offense in 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 their defense. But but what I'm I guess what I'm going to what I'm trying to ultimately get in my opinion, I think you have Ohio State one. I think you move Georgia all the way to two, and then Florida State to four. So you just swap Florida State and Georgia. I am good with this. I I agree. Um. I, I, I do still like Washington at three. I think they pick up an excellent win this week. Um, I mean, Ohio State, not not that Rutgers is nearly on the level of either USC or Missouri. They are not. Um, but, you know, it's still a win over a two loss or, well, two loss coming into the game. A two loss Big Ten football team. So, you know, it, not not a slouch by any means. Um, and you cover, you win by 19 points. Uh, Georgia gets a top 15 win. Washington gets a top 20 win, um, at least in t- coming into the games. Um, yep. Florida state on the other hand looked really bad against a really bad pit team. 
And, you know, I don't want to put all of the weight on specifically what happened this weekend, but I don't think that there was a ton of difference, in my opinion, between Florida State, Georgia, and Washington coming into this. And now I would say that maybe there is a bit. Um, Mm -hmm. I kind of starting to put... Ohio State, Georgia, and Washington kind of with some separation with Florida State a little bit. Kind of a top three plus one right now. Um, Because, yeah, I mean, like, Washington gets a top 20 win. Doesn't look dominant doing it by any means. Uh, Georgia gets a top 10 win or almost a top 10 win. A top 12 win doesn't look dominant doing it, but they get the win. It's not, it's not a bad, not a bad team. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I th- but, but all these I, teams I think, are flawed. I think is what I'm getting at. Like none of these teams yeah. are, none of these teams are dominant. None of these teams are scary. Like if you're Ohio mm-hmm. state fan listening right now and you're thinking is Ohio state really better. You know, Ohio state has these offensive line issues and Ohio state, this and Ohio state that, and, like, hey, just watch a Georgia game. They are an incredibly flawed team as well. Just watch a Washington game. They are an incredibly flawed team as well. Just watch a Florida State game. They are an incredibly flawed football team as well. We should stay number yeah. one regardless of who's better. I I, you, I do I'm not someone who puts all of their stock into resume or eye test. I think you have to, you have to consider both. George is going to pass us because SEC bias. Eh, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Um, But I, I don't know. I, I don't know the exact makeup of the committee right now, but I don't, I don't think it's like stacked with SEC people. Georgia has one top 20 win. Yeah. So does Ohio State right now. Because I guarantee you when the rankings come out, Notre Dame's not going to be in the top 20 anymore. Yeah. The AP, if it's anything close to what the AP, AP has AP and the coaches poll, which both crap, but, but still they have Notre Dame at 22. Yeah. So, all right. Um, all right. Moving on to the A tier. Moving on to the A tier. Uh, yeah, I think Michigan's right there on that cusp. Uh, they did. They did nothing to improve or hurt themselves. So they stay. They stay right where they're at there. Uh, Texas. Texas comes out with a, a win over Kent, ranked Kansas State at the time. They stay where they're at. Uh, I would say. You know, I think there's a lot of people talk about Alabama now and how how much they've improved, but it's like they 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 only looked good because their their quarterback was able to run the ball all over LSU. So I'm not gonna I'm not here to I'm not quite on board with Alabama yet and them fixing their issues. So I'm I think in that order there, if we were to order A tier, I think Texas and Alabama be right there. Penn State, I think, is really close behind as well. So I'm good with I'm good with Penn State there, Oregon. Heck, maybe even move Oregon all the way past Texas and Alabama. Maybe I, I'm fine we with don't, that. We don't order A tier. So Oklahoma, who was on our A tier last week, goes down to B tier. That was their second loss. They they still need some help, but they could they could find their way back and win the. Uh, win the big 12 here, but they do need quite a bit of help. Ole Miss stays where they're at and uh, Louisville stays where they're at. Yeah. I think, I, I think this is, I can't, th- I can't think of anybody else that's worthy to move up. Cause that is, that's really all of the one loss teams minus, uh, minus two lane here. Right. And we're not moving. Those are all. Up. Yeah. And those are all the one loss teams uh, in a tiers. So all the one loss teams plus Michigan. Yes. Um, Notre Dame, out of B tier, yes? Yep. Notre Dame, that's your third Mario man. Yeah. 
you're, you're, you are down to C tier. Now, I guess Clemson can move out of, out of the M tier now. I think, I think Clemson can go back into C. They're, nah. Or, or maybe they're not an M minus anymore. Okay. Okay. <laughs> they get, yep. There you go. Yeah, we'll put them up there. I, they're, they were still a team coming in expected to win or, you know, expected yep. among other teams to win the ACC. And they, they're one game over 500 right now. Now the question is LSU puts up a good fight against Alabama. Does LSU get out of M tier? There were so, so there's such high expectations from, from LSU this year and where where are they at right now? Where are they at? They are they are four and two in their uh in their conference right now. To be fair, though, they lost the look at the two teams they lost to. Yep, it's the teams that's ahead of them, Alabama and Ole Miss. Those are two what, are they both top ten now, according to the AP, both mm-hmm. of those teams? Yep. Um, so I I guess I, then, I guess I'm fine. And I'm, then I'm fine well, moving. I'm I'm fine with moving them out of M tier. They have yes, but, they have three losses, but they have three losses to three teams in the top ten, right? Yeah. Is that all three of them are? Yep, all three of them are. Yeah, I, we're taking them out of M tier. Um. Okay. Uh, I guess the question here, Jared, is going to be who. Anybody from B tier that should be moved up or down? We already kicked. Uh, we already kicked say, Notre Dame down. We got to kick Air Force. I would Force say Air down. Force. Yep, got to kick Air Force down as well. Um, I, I, I don't see. know who to. I don't Missouri, know I think, to... can stay. Uh, Kansas, I think, can stay. Oklahoma, we just moved down. You, you know what? A, t- a team we we talked about here. We said we warned you guys for many, many weeks here. Why don't we? Why don't we put Arizona up there, up in B tier? I yeah. I know I know they they have they have they do have three losses. They do have three losses, but I they they need a lot of help to be able to get into that conference championship game here. But man, they they are such a different team. Such a different team since, uh, since their freshman quarterback uh, started. Kyle, I get what you're saying, but like, I'm a, I I, like, I'm, I've adopted Arizona this year. I, I, I like Arizona, but like, and I don't think we can put a team in B tier just because it's a feel good story. Um, okay, that, that's fine. I mean, you can you can keep Arizona and C-tier. if you're I'm, not I'm fine with that, but is this accurate or no? And the later it comes, the lighter it is. If we beat, uh, hold on, let me start. In my opinion, if Michigan loses to Penn State, they get punished next week. If they beat Penn State and lose to us, they get punished the week after. If they beat us both if they beat us both, it's a postseason punishment. Oh you're saying later it comes, the later it is. Um I think that we're going to find out what the Big Ten punishment is probably Maybe before this episode even comes out. And that the NCAA doesn't move quickly ever. So we're not going to get an NCAA ruling this year. Um, the NCAA moves too, moves too slow. Um, and I don't 100% know what is within the Big Ten's authority to actually do i don't know that the big 10 and by the way i know they can suspend harbaugh i know that's a thing that they can do um the commissioner can just suspend him for two games just like he has the authority just to do that 
Um, if he wants to do it for more than two games, he needs to get a vote from, I assume, the school presidents, which is is as pissed off as everyone appears to be at Michigan. I don't think that would be a problem. Um, but I don't think the Big Ten has, like, the ability to, like, postseason ban. I might be wrong, but I want to say they don't have the ability to postseason ban Michigan. Uh, nor do I think that they would, actually. I. What about from the conference championship game? I, I just don't think the Big Ten's going to do that. That's their game, no. So, so you don't think time of loss affects the level of punishment? No, I don't. I, I, I think that the Big Ten is going to rule on a punishment this week. Uh, so, uh, no. All right. Um, back back to our back to our board here, though, Jared. Any anybody else? By, you... by the way, Spike says, "What about the conference championship game? That's their game." No. Um. I don't think they'd do it. I assume they have the authority to do it. I don't think they will. And I'll tell you right now, it's because of Fox. It's, it's, it's TV money, man. It's all TV money. All right. Um, anybody else in B tier here? I think there's two other teams. I'm not, or three teams. I think there's three teams worth talking about here. Okay. Um, first one is Oregon State. Oregon State has two losses um, to Washington State and to Arizona. Uh, their their best victories is against Utah and Cal and UCLA. Uh, the the second one here is uh, Utah. I know that they lost to Oregon. They beat a really bad Arizona State uh, this last weekend. Not quite ready to move them up to B tier, but they play State in Washington beat next week. Colorado. Yeah. Oh, Oregon State beat Colorado. Oregon State did beat Colorado. Yep, and then the th- and then the third team to put the third team would be Tennessee. Tennessee has two losses, but they played a really bad UConn this weekend. Not ready to move them up, but they do play Missouri this next weekend. So if they were to yeah. beat Missouri, yeah, I would move them up to B tier. But I think those three teams, um, I think I would have to be up. right on the the they're right on the cusp there to be moved up to B tier. Yeah, I I agree. I did move Oregon State up. I feel like we should have had Oregon State up anyway. That's fine. Um, the I'm good with this. I'm good with this list here. Well, let me ask you this. Hmm. USC. A lot of preseason hype. Just dropped their third game. Are we looking at M tier? Now, they, 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 did they play Oregon this week? M for mid. <laughs> is that is that right? Does USC play Oregon this week? I believe they do. Um, they play, play Oregon and then UCLA. I I, I want to. That's a that's a that's a that's a really tough stretch of games. It's Notre Dame, tight, yeah. Notre Dame. Well, even back one up. Arizona, with with their um, freshman quarterback. Notre Dame, Utah. They squeaked out a win against Cal, and then Washington, Oregon, and UCLA. That's that's a tough sled. That's a tough sled for a USC, and they did the right thing by getting rid of Grinch. But they should have done that a long time ago. I mean, they did have to fire their coordinator midseason. That's some M tier shit. Yeah. Are we M tier? Um, are we M tiering so USC? Yeah, I'm fine M tiering them. I'm fine with M tiering. I know that our. Uh... 
we have some I know that a couple. Discord, I know. I know. Happy about that. I know that. Yeah, I know that. Austin and a few others are going to be happy to to see USC and M. All right, Kyle. I'm, let me I'm ask you this: that. Oklahoma State. Should we talk, be talking about Oklahoma State for B tier? Oh, uh, let me pull up. Sorry, I was starting to move things. I was starting to move things around here. Um, Oregon State. Oregon yeah. State. Oklahoma State. Oh, I'm sorry. Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Yeah, the that, that's another team. I, you. Yeah, you're, you know, well, their two best victories is Kansas and uh, Oklahoma this last weekend. Yeah. But they have two bad losses. South Alabama and Iowa State, though. It's not it's that, not like some of these that other, the other schools. No, 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 man. You 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 can't not you can't ask to put Arizona State or excuse me, Arizona up there, uh and, and then say that was the before times and not also give Oklahoma State like the before times pass. All right. All right. I'm fine with moving Oklahoma State to B tier only because of this. Okay. They are tied with Texas in their conference record at five and one. Yeah, I know. They I have think it, that's they, an important factor. Yeah, that that is the reason for me. Yeah, I, I think being a contender in your conference, I, I think, is a important factor for being like in B tier. I, I think that's totally fair and totally. Uh, and they're and they're in the, they're in the driver's seat here. So the teams be every team that's behind them they've beaten. That's with a minus minus. Oh wow, Iowa State has only two losses in in the Big Twelve. Hold on, uh, <laughs> they they've beat Kansas, Oklahoma, Kansas State, and West Virginia all, um, all with two losses in the in conference there. So that they're in the driver's seat with UCF, Houston, and BYU, who are UCF in the lower UC, UCF. Yeah, they play UCF, Houston, oh, and BYU. That's their upcoming schedule. I thought you said in the driver's yeah. seat with UCF. I'm like, has UCF yeah. even won a conference yeah, yeah. game yet? Okay, I just um, misunderstood one. what you were saying. One, no, no, you're you're talking about Cincinnati. Cincinnati hasn't even won a conference game. Okay, yeah, but UCF beats Cincinnati. Which is, <laughs> yeah, they're like a probationary Big Twelve team. Yeah, so their final three games are in the bottom quarter, of the Big Twelve standings. So yeah, they're they're in the Wait, driver's isn't seat. This Scarlet and Grade were a little off track. No, this is collegiate chaos. Yeah, this no, is I'm the other episode. I, I am good. I'm good with this right here. Okay, I I think this is fair and good, and. And I like it. Um, I was really hoping to move Kansas State up to B tier this week, but it didn't work out like that, unfortunately. Um, at a certain point, we're going to have to have a tough conversation about whether James Madison can be in B tier if they're not allowed to play in the postseason. But maybe that's not for today. Uh, it says Scarlet and Grade, and then there's a pipe, and then it says CC, which is Collegiate Chaos. There you go. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I like this. I think we're done here. All right. Back to this view. Actually, let me go ahead and save that before I forget. All right. W. Kyle, W. Jared. Thank you. Uh, yeah. The, uh, yeah. Is that it? Are we, are we good here? Um, Penn State and Michigan play this week. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to look we got at. It was Oregon upcoming, and uh, USC the, play this week. Um, by the way, Kyle, and take this for what it's worth, and I'm not saying it's worth a lot. The ESPN game projector thing. I don't even. I think that's what it's called. Game projector, win projector. I think it's there. Yeah. Basically, has Michigan and Penn State fifty fifty. With the with a microscopic edge to Penn State, I think that's an interesting note to note. 
Oh, Kyle has the screenshot ready. Kyle, you were on your shit today. I'm just going to let you know. Between that and what immediately are... knowing when all of Cody Simon's tackles were last week. <laughs> or last last episode. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ranked all ranked games. Michigan, Penn State, you mentioned. Uh, Utah in Washington. Tennessee, Missouri. Oh, God. Rutgers in Iowa. Oh, boy. Um, well, hold on. Ole Miss in, hold on. Ole Miss in Georgia. I thought we were talking about ranked on ranked teams. Where did yeah, yeah. Rutgers I, and Iowa I know, come sorry. from? I'm, I just saw that as I'm scrolling down. By the way, admit over that. under. Admit, admit that. <laughs> The over-under on that game is 28 points. It is. 28 points. <laughs> um, Ole Miss and Georgia, another bit, another um, another rank-on-rank rank matchup there. Um, and then USC and Oregon that you mentioned as well, too, is a rank-on-rank rank as well. So, yeah, yeah, a lot of... Will lot, it- USC Oregon might not be a rank on rank uh, once the new numbers come out. <laughs> well, USC, according to the AP, is twentieth. How and why? Anyway, it's fine. I don't care. It's questions for another episode. So, any game, any game that you think that is, uh, you you can see a, an upset here. Well. I honestly think Penn State might win that game. I don't know if that's technically an upset. Do we have Vegas? What's what's the Vegas on that? I think Michigan's favored. Yeah, Michigan by five and a half. Definitely taking Penn State for five and a half. Yeah. Is there any of our picks where you have a unranked being beating a ranked? I uh, I don't know, man. It's too early. That's that's a that's a that's a Friday conversation. <laughs> that's a Friday conversation. I think Penn State yeah. wins outright. That's that's just that's exactly what I was just saying, Florida. Uh, right, that's it. Yeah, I think I think that is. I think that's. I think we'll call it. I think we'll call it an episode right there. I think we'll call that an episode. We're only twelve minutes over, which is actually pretty good mm-hmm. considering where we've been with this episode recently. So good job, us, and um, yada 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 come join the discord t-shirt stores 7071.thesloopcast.com and merch.thesloopcast.com um join the discord server join the patreon for as little as 32 dollars a year or three dollars a month however you prefer to do that 32 is a slight discount for doing all 12 months up front um i think it's actually 3250 and then there might be tax on top of that i don't know i've never subscribed to my own patreon before um but yeah that's it uh help us out we would appreciate it if we've provided a bunch of entertainment to you this season or maybe even over the years um just throw us a couple dollars over on patreon.thesloopcast.com uh it would be greatly appreciated Uh, if you want to advertise if you if you or Someone you know would like to advertise on the Sloopcast? We are not that expensive. You might think that it costs a lot of money. It does not. Um, so reach out to us, uh, sloopcast at gmail.com, and, uh, and let us know. Uh, just the, they advertise with us for a while, and the, uh, you know, we used to have Iron Bean Coffee. They just they advertise for us with a while and then they don't anymore. We love all of our old sponsors. We love Wolf's Ridge Brewing and Mad Canadian Barbecue Company. Um, all of our past sponsors. It's just, you know, you know, you, you get the word out for a while. And then at a certain point, like, I think the return goes away, right? Like both Iron Bean and Mad Canadian advertise with us for like a year. And, like, at a certain point, like, it just, the return starts to go away, right? It's just, like, yep. the word is out. The audience is reached. So, you know, they move on, and we move on, and we got nothing but That's love fun. for them. Yep. Uh, Kyle, do you have anything in Kyle's Corner? Yeah, how about some C.J. Stroud? C.J. Stroud doing some great things in the NFL, uh, this Sunday here, Jared. 
uh, breaking breaking lots of records and bro- broken even more records today. 470 passing yards for C.J. Stroud, Damn. including five touchdowns. He threw 325 yards and four of those five touchdowns in the second half. Who was he playing? Um, Tampa Bay. Also, Bryce Young with two pick sixes. I, for the life of me, don't understand why Stroud wasn't 1-1. I know you're just, oh, Jared, you're just Ohio State bias. Okay. Ownership. It's it's, it's, Car- it's, Car- it's Carolina. Carolina is a is a terrible organization. Yeah. Oh yeah. It just I don't have to tell you. It's uh, but it's not like I don't know, like Houston's been a model organization either, quite frankly, but. Um. Hey, I guess they made the right call there. Uh, yep. only th- we just need to get Fields out of Chicago, and and we can see what happens after that. Exactly. Because Chicago is just where quarterbacks go to die. Yeah. It, it is. It right, is that's just it. that simple. That's it. That's the it end of the show. Good. Um. Once again, uh, tonight's music brought to you by the Wet Darlings. Used to be Cleveland. Well, let's be honest. That's not. I mean, quarterbacks can go to die in more than one place. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Arizona has a great track record either, for being honest. Uh, wet Darlings. Ending tonight's show are the Wet Darlings. They're banned out of Columbus. So with that being said, I'd like to um, encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support local podcasters. Once again, these are the Wet Darlings. Wet Darlings.